Hi everyone and welcome to my quick guide on how to auto launch a fixed wing using INAL. I will go through the couple of different methods for setting up auto launch mode, what configurator settings I've used, and also the procedure and a demo on two wings, the commonly used AR900 wing and also a bigger wing, the right wing Zedcon. A quick note before I start, I'm not claiming here to be an INAV expert of any sort, however I have had multiple aircraft using INAV and never had a problem with auto launch, it's been successful every single time. So this is basically my guide as to how I use it. Okay, so I'm in the iNav configurator and I'm connected to my AR wing. And I'm just gonna show you to start with how you configure the launch mode. So the first one is to go into the mode tab and just configure the nav launch, which is just here, in the same way that you would configure any of the modes or the arming switch. So you click add the range and select your channel. That's the first option. The second one, which is my preferred and the one I use, is you go into the configuration tab and you go into this other features section and you choose this option, permanently enable launch mode for fixed wing. Now what this means is when you arm the aircraft, launch mode will be active rather than having to flick a switch and manually activate it. This isn't a problem if you decide you don't want to use auto launch to disable it or to cancel it, you simply move the right stick, which would be your elevator or aileron stick. So I'm just gonna quickly go through the parameters that I've changed from default in relation to launch settings in iNav. So the first setting I changed was the launch velocity. This is basically how quick the plane has to be thrown in order for launch to be detected. When I was jolting the AR wing in my arms, sometimes it wasn't activating launch mode, so what I did was I reduced this number to 150, basically meaning that it doesn't have to be thrown as hard to activate launch mode. Next setting I altered was the launch throttle. The default value is 70% throttle, which probably would have been okay, but I decided to up mine to 90%. Next setting I changed was the launch motor delay. And basically this is the time between iNav detecting the launch and the throttle starting. The default value is 500 milliseconds, which is half a second. So if you're worried about the prop catching your hand or something like that, then leave it as it is. Um, whereas I just like the motor to start up as soon as it's detected launch. Personal preference, really. The final setting they altered was the launch timeout. Basically, this is the length of time that the launch procedure lasts. The default value is five seconds, and I doubled that to 10. Again, this is personal preference. Apart from these settings you can see on the screen, I've left everything else as default. Okay, so before we move on to the demo and procedure of auto launch, I just wanted to point out that there are a couple of prerequisites before using auto launch, and this is really important. First of all, you should be maidening your planes in fully manual mode. Once you're up in the air, make sure that it flies well, there are no issues with it, and make sure that it's trimmed out so it flies nice and straight. The second step is to make sure that it flies well in stabilized and return to home. If these are successful and work well, then you're ready for auto launch. Okay, so let's go through the procedure of auto launch on the AR wing first. This is running the Matek F405. I'm going to put the full spec of this model in the video description. I'll also be doing the same for the Zedcon and I will post links to my diff files so you can see all of my settings on both models. Okay, so my TX is on, I've plugged in the battery and that's all I've done so far. Satellite locked, so we're ready to start. First thing I'm gonna do is arm the wing. Engines armed. Now, when we look back at the screen, you can see that auto launch is engaged, but remember that's because I enabled auto launch all of the time on fixed wing. If you had set it up as a mode, you would also have to flick the switch for your auto launch. So before we throw it, there's a couple of things we need to do. The first one is we need to set the throttle that we want the plane to enter once launch mode finishes. At this point, I do need to add in a quick warning, and that is if your launch idle is set to anything above zero, at this point, the prop will start to spin before the launch. If you have it set to the default value of zero, the prop will not spin until you throw the model. So the second thing we want to do is we also want to select the flight mode that it's going to enter once the launch procedure finishes. 
So in my case, I want it to go into stabilised. Stabilise mode. The last step is to give the plane a nice level throw and enjoy a stress-free launch. I always set my TX on the ground when auto-launching because if you knock that right stick, it will cancel auto-launch. So here's that launch again, but from the view of the live DVR recording. As you'll see, it will climb out for 10 seconds and at that point, it will then switch into stabilize mode and drop the throttle to 60%, which is where I have my stick. The procedure is absolutely identical on this Zedcon, although this is a much bigger wingspan of 1440 mil. And I do have a couple of settings a little bit different. The first one is my launch throttle is slightly lower at 85%. And the second one is that the nav launch velocity, I've just left that at default 300. Apart from these two slight differences, the setup is identical to that of the AR wing. This wing is also a lot heavier than the AR wing as it's carrying 8 amp of 5S and the flight controller is a Matek F765. Okay, it's the same process, it's in manual, just plugged it in. Gonna arm it. Engines are... As I arm it, you'll see auto launch appear. And what we're gonna do, again, is set the mode we want it to enter after the auto launch. Stabilize mode. Which is angle mode. And I'm gonna set the throttle. And it's ready to throw. Engines 